The next algorithm that we will learn is called reverse words. This algorithm will take in a string as a parameter, reverse every word in that string, and return the new string. As you can tell, it is pretty straightforward. As an exercise, I highly encourage you to try to build out this algorithm on your own before watching the next video where we will walk through a solution to it. By building out this algorithm on your own, you will solidify the skills that you have learned so far in this course and you will improve your critical thinking skills. There are two rules that you need to keep in mind when building this algorithm. One, every word in the string should be reversed, but the string as a whole should not be reversed. So, for example, if we pass in the string, this is a string of words, the result should be this. Notice how the words are still in the same order, but each word itself is reversed. We should not get this string. because that would mean the whole string has been reversed. The second rule is that you cannot use the array reverse method. Instead, you will have to find a different way of reversing the words. And that is it. Again, I encourage you to try coding out a solution for this algorithm on your own before moving on to the next video. If you need some, of, if you need some ideas of how to tackle this exercise, take a look back through some of the other algorithms that we have already covered. Some of the skills and techniques that we used in previous algorithms can be put into use in this one as well. If you struggle with building this algorithm on your own, don't worry. We still, uh, we still have a lot of learning to do, and you will continue to improve your skills as we go. Good luck, and see you in the next video.